Yesterday we had a little sneak preview, we'll say, on the, the yak scaling, the, the weekly shenanigans. I've got a few more builds to bring to you. So the way we're going to set it up today, we got two primary builds with some variants thrown in there. So to start out, I just want to highlight the absurdity of camel in this weekly, particularly when it has garlic and you have the likes of elephant and blowfish to accompany it. It's the OG, it's the turtle pack shenanigans coming right back to you. Not all tier three anymore because the blowfish is tier four, but yeah, they're back. They're better than ever. They're very powerful. But then we're going to show off some little counters to them. OK, so we're going to go over some some Fossa counters, which actually work pretty well. This should be a good time. We'll get the whole weekly kind of summed up in one big long video. Hope you enjoy. Strap in. It's going to be fun. I'm throwing a sea urchin here. I mean, I love a stork. I think stork is very strong. Maybe we set it up like this. Our low attack stork can finish off whoever the sea urchin hits. Unfortunately, <laughs> that one didn't work out as well as I had hoped. But here we are. We get our first win on the board. Let's see, we're running an apple? Probably not. So if we go Foo Dog here, we can get a health bonus on Camel and Elephant. So that's pretty good. We can try to push toward that. I kinda, I'm tempted to do the up level up here. So we get a higher chance of getting a Camel and or Blowfish. Uh, okay. I think we're just gonna set it up like this. This is perfectly fine, because really what are we looking for on tier 4? Blowfish is fine, but you need a little bit of a setup to get it working. So it's not like you want to like speed run getting blowfish, you know? Alright. Throw these on here. I think we're ditching the stork at this point. Gibbon honestly ain't too good. <laughs> he already paid off. We get three termites, which are probably not going to be the play. I think we're just doing this. The garlic is going to be helpful. We just don't have the right unit for it yet. Um, those are some solid hits here. Ooh, that kind of hurts though. All right, we're down to three. <laughs> Not ideal. I do like running a double giraffe here. I think that's fun. We get the level up. I think we roll here. Yeah, I'm not really looking to start out with an elephant. We'd rather have a hurt trigger to, to synergize like this guy. This guy knows what's up. Okay. Now, I don't really know where this build is headed, I'll be honest, but an early polar bear is definitely an angle. And we got some camels, we got an elephant, we got a lot of good options here. I'll tell you what, I think Alchemedes needs to go. We'll run a camel, but we won't buff it with the giraffe because we don't want to waste the the buffs that would otherwise maybe be applied to the camel in the shop by the polar bear oh baby that was very satisfying a little sea urchin health and depletion on all three of them and it did hit the camel I'm glad we did that um so i think we go here we can honestly just hold it keep the camel cooking we're going to waste one one, but we also get experience, so whatever. We'll take it. Okay, so I think I think at this point we're just letting the, the polar bear scale up. Hoping we don't lose too much. We might want to add him in now, though. I mean, Mammoth is okay. He's not amazing, but we'll, we'll hold on to him. Okay, hold on. Hold on just a gosh darn second here. We can go polar bear, ditch the mammoth, hold the blowfish. Now we got two polar bears hitting our blowfish here. The face when you got them polar bears hitting your blowfish. Mm, it looks 
looks like we're gonna be fine. I think. Yes, we will. Just barely, but we got there. So here's what I'm I'm thinking. Here's what I'm trying to do. Okay. We get the, the polar bear leveled here. Hammerhead is fine, because we have the level three. Um, I don't want to make my my mistake that I make every single time I run Hammerhead and sell off the <laughs> the low value level three. Because I seem to do that all the friggin' time. So we're gonna see if I can not this time. And here we can just see the value. We got the camel at work here. I'm very excited to get this blowfish cooked out here. But we're gonna hold off. We don't need to commit just yet. Uh, we can run an elephant, hopefully level two soon. And here we'll give him a mushroom to guarantee two hits. It's gonna pay off significantly as we get him level two. Uh, I think garlic is good. They have, there's a lot of snipes at the likes of a snake and whatnot, so garlic is still useful. Even if it doesn't do anything for the elephant hits here. And there's the snake. Not that it attacks the, <laughs> the camel ever, but you know, it's there. Okay. So it's a question at this point of do we just send the blowfish and try to get some levels on him right now? Or do we keep the polar bear? I think we sell it. It's really high statted already. I think at this point, ooh, we get the elephant level up. I think at this point, we're looking for the blowfish levels above anything else. If we find a couple camels, hey, I'll take them. But I think this is the plan right here. Oh, we're gonna get three hits on our camel. Dude, it's over. <laughs> Oh, this, this dude is huge. And yeah, so of course he's not doing a ton on these snipes here. It's only three damage little pings. But if we can get him a few few hits here, a few levels, that's going to be huge. What do we got? That one's probably not it. Anything? I mean, Dragonfly, you could argue. Could be pretty good. I am going to prioritize the blowfish, as I've said before, and we get a chocolate. Next turn, it's going to go off. And I'll freeze the hammerhead, too. I'm not sure what we're really going for yet. So we'll kind of just keep our options open here. Um, not quite. Okay. We got an unfortunate snipe on our, on our homie here. Oh, I don't know if I like the elephant in front of the blowfish at this point. He is level two, so he's going to be doing a lot more now than he was last turn. It's just hard because you want the elephant to hit both of them, <laughs> you know? You almost wish that it just hit the, ba the back two instead of the back one multiple times. But, you know. See, this is going to go very well. This is exactly what we're hoping for. So it's hard, like, I don't, we'd have to, like, math it out or something. See which one is better if you want the elephant hitting the camel or the blowfish. The problem I have is that once the blowfish is maxed out, the camel is just taking damage for no reason, and then we're wasting elephant triggers. But I don't want to do that. I'm going to do something that I've never done before. <laughs> Get the stinky sock. And just for now, we'll, eh, I mean... We can throw in a hammerhead in case we draw, but we're gonna be smart and play the stinky sock that we hopefully won't draw. Um, it actually pays off. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't think the stinky sock did anything. Um, we're good. We had some fortunate snipes there. If we hit all of those on the camel, I think we would have lost that one. And we got an achievement. Fantastic news. Ele Elephant, camel, blowfish. Let me tell you, <laughs> we're back to the glory days of of the turtle pack. We're gonna skip the bush homies today. The bushes aren't really—they're not the vibe. 
They used to be on the test server, but now they kind of suck. IMO. They like had a really good niche spot there for a little while, and then Team Wood killed it. <laughs> And we draw, so we're back up to five hearts. Let's see what we can do with this. We just got a giant gibbon right now. Which, I mean, could be worse, right? So camel is super broken this weekly, so we're gonna go camel. Might try running a yak as well. And then, let's just, let's do this. Maybe? Maybe. There we go. I think we're gonna be okay. What the heck is this guy running? RVG pets. What's going on here? I guess we do this because it's basically an apple, but experience too. Okay, we got one kill there. Looking good. This is what I mean, like the camel just, especially when you get to tier three with garlic, I think it's too strong. I'll just say it, <laughs> I'll just come out here and say it. It should not be that powerful. Level U, I think we get rid of the Hedgehog, maybe? I actually don't think Tiger Bug is that good, specifically because Camel exists. Maybe we, maybe we ditch the Termite for another Hedgehog. We can double stack some, some Hedgehog homies. Yeah, really, the way you win is get a bunch of camels and get them scaled up. I like this. Give you a garlic so you take a little less damage each turn. Tropical fish, maybe. We'll consider it. Might end up ditching the hedgehog for a tropical fish. Okay, looking good. Alright, question. Do you think that it's a camel issue, or is this just a general garlic issue? I can't decide. Part of me feels like it's just garlic is too good. Like, I don't know. I don't know how you fix that. Is there one in a hamster? Why not? Why not? More camels, more yaks. More camels. Beautiful. I think the hamster, honestly, is super underrated. Beautiful. This is why I don't run Tiger Bug. It's too bad against camels. There's no reason to run it. And I'll take a level three. Even if we're getting it a little early, I think we take those. Um, switch you back because you're gonna need three health. I'd rather do that. Now I'm not entirely certain that we actually want a level three yak, but I'm not certain that we don't. Insane. We can get an elephant cook in here. We'd be in in the ballpark. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> All right, let's make some money here. Um, dragonfly actually isn't that good. Weirdly enough, we could ditch the gibbon, and then it's pretty good. All right, the gibbon has made one more trigger if we want to keep him two turns. We don't really want to do that. 
level you. And we can start rolling again. I think, uh, is Walrus even that good? Oh, not convinced. Run it here, we can chocolate next turn. Yeah, so this is going to be the play. We're going to get the camel, get him relatively large. Um, and by the way, this is why you don't play summons this weekly. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're a summon homie, but it doesn't work this week because of the camel garlic. They're just too good. Um, let's see. Cockatrice doesn't feel like the play, I'll be honest. not doing a whole lot don't get me wrong <laughs> but it, it, it'll buff a little bit you know maybe unless it hits the hamster I don't know I don't like it anymore just kidding I take it back all right we got two health out of it we'll take it <laughs> Um, so here's how we want to do this. We want to roll, roll down the hamster. We'll combine them later. And that's not it. Hammerhead's actually pretty good. Do that. Hold the pizza. Do it again. <laughs> Gonna see how many how many hammerheads we can find. And then he gets another deer. And then we're good. Fantastic news. That's a lot of hammerheads. <laughs> Um, we go here. It's kind of tough that the dragonfly can't buff them now. It's really the only good scaler we've got, though, is the tough part. I mean, the yak is already kind of cooked up as much as he will be. Even if we just had, like, pill or something for the, for the mammoth, that would be nice. Bro, this is not going to end well for you. I hate to say it. Alright, one more. Can we do it? Uh, let's see. Start with the pizza. Then... What are we looking for? Really not a... A great reason to do anything. Maybe we just get some pizzas. Get a melon. Melon on you. Or what if we do this? Put a melon on you. Not interested. Maybe we could walrus mushroom, I guess, but that's not really that's not really what we're going for. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so if we pizza we get an extra two two. If we dragonfly level we get an extra two two. <laughs> I guess we do this. 
and then save these for later. Oh, you still have an extra trigger. I didn't even notice. The dragonfly is a very unpleasant scaler. If I do say so myself. Okay, well that didn't work. I don't know, maybe we do want to keep the yak behind the camel. It's just he already has full attack, so like, why would we want to do that? Keep it going. We're just looking for pizzas, I think. <laughs> just get as many pizzas as we can. <laughs> Oh man. I don't know what else to really build toward. We're gonna try one more time here. Because now our camel's a little bigger. Then I think we do start with the yak. Probably. That was definitely the correct play. I'm glad we did that. And we're good. <laughs> Look at that. It really feels like this weekly is just strictly camel scaling. Even if you have like snake snipes and stuff, you know, the camel's still just gonna keep scaling up homies even if you get getting sniped. It's almost good for the camel. I don't know. The only counter to it is the Ibex. All right, we're gonna try something a little insane here. But there's a chance that it works, and there's the chance makes it all worth it. That's fine. We're not worried about the dubs here. We're trying to make this happen. So we'll go... What do we want to do this? So you two will go here. I think this is fine. Again, not really too concerned about getting any dubs here. We almost drew that. Not that it matters. Alright. Start me up here. Give me a level. Give me a level. What do we got? A little fish orangutan. I think just getting a lot of scaling is gonna do us a solid here. Let's just try to get you guys cooked up. Hedgehog is great. Don't mind if I do. He's running the same kind of build. Ooh, we do eventually find it. Not like this, I think. Because the orangutan's not sticking around. The yak might be. I feel like it's a little... <laughs> Without consistent health scaling, it's kind of a hard sell for me. Beautiful. Probably gonna try to pivot into the likes of a camel, in all likelihood. Fossa is incredible. We get rid of the ant though? That's the question. The ant sticking around? He's not giving us any permanent buffs. I'm gonna say no. Okay. So the idea here is we're going to get the Fossa to level 3 and then get like a hamster cooking and then we're just going insane. <laughs> That's the strat. Because it's the perfect counter to the Elephant Blowfish Camel Team. Everybody's playing the Elephant Blowfish Camel Team. I'm actually going to roll to try to get some levels here. We did not get levels. But that's okay. We did get more fossil rolls here, for what it's worth. Now 
Now people are getting smart. They're putting their camels in the back. <laughs> Don't want to get faucet out here. Give me a level. Ooh, polar bear is incredible here. We can get polar bear on... I don't know who. Somebody. Have we ever ditched the Gibbon here? He's still got a lot of health to give, so I'm... T I'm kind of set leaning towards no. I'm gonna like this. Actually, Tiger Bug would be very good here. We get a Tiger Bug that just nukes the guy, the guys that the Pasa hits. That seems incredible. Just in case the, <laughs> just in case the Hedgehog doesn't get the job done, we'll get the Tiger Bug. Level. Hamster. Tell you what. Hold off a turn. Maybe we haven't found any more bosses yet. I know we've been freezing a lot, but still. Ooh, almost. All right, now's the time to pivot here. So we're gonna ditch you, and we're gonna ditch you. We're gonna start getting a hamster going. We're looking for fossils, we're looking for hamsters, maybe tiger bug, we'll see. This counts. I don't know who we'd prioritize here. Between the fossa and the, the hamster. I think we have too much health for him. Just barely, but we do. All the health scaling we've been doing up to this point is paying off. And after seeing that, I think we're going to want to run a little garlic here. Just to help out a little bit, you know. And of course we're going to want a mushroom on our hedgehog eventually. We're not quite strong enough. Once we get level 2 Fossa, we're going to be cooked up. Ooh, we do find level 2 Fossa. Um, no, no, no. That's not going to cut it. Tell you what, I'll take you. And then we'll, we'll head for the hamster. Hamster is going to be our next big play. That's what really enables the Fossa here. Looking good. We're hanging in there. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Give me more fossils, please. I think we go here, hold the chocolate. Fossil level up next turn is the goal. This team's kind of cooking, though. Low-key. This team's kind of good. We could go Tiger Bug. I think Foss is the play. Oh, baby. Come on, make it happen. Let's see it. We did not get it. I mean, I'm down to just roll it out, though. I do eventually want to get some, like, pizza or something, get the attack cooked up. But for now, I think we cook it like this.
I guess we can throw you in here. There he is. We found him. <laughs> That's beautiful. Tell you what, ditch the tropical fish. We don't need him. We're gonna go for a little extra gold. Enable our rolls a little bit more, you know? We're almost there. I think we need to full send roll this turn. chocolate we just go pizza here taco is also good what are we at eight removing 16 health from everybody would we rather just roll it out that's the question probably i think it's gonna do more than a couple attack on some homies We'll grab a pizza though. Or will we? Maybe if we win this, we just full send and roll to infinity. <laughs> what if that's the play? It worked. <laughs> Tell me it didn't work. Yeah, can't. All right, I say we send it. Just full roll. Their front three are basically guaranteed to die. And then we just hope we have enough on the back end. That sounds more fun. This doesn't actually help us, right? <laughs> Just to make sure, this isn't actually improving our odds. Because if we spend six gold to get an extra four, it's not that bad. We lose out on two, but if we draw, then we actually have a chance of the following turn. This is insane, but <laughs> we're gonna try it. <laughs> what are you at, 18? Surely taking 40 health from the enemy is gonna be good enough, right? Surely <laughs> this isn't gonna backfire. All right, it backfired. <laughs> Turns out you need more than just killing the front three. I don't know. It's a fun strategy. I just don't know. Unless they're running just elephant blowfish camel in the very front, it's not really going to do a whole lot for you. You still have to, you know, have a solid team back there, but <laughs> it's kind of fun. I like full sending random garbage like this just to see, just to limit test it, see how good it is. I'm sure somewhere in the middle is probably where you want to be with this kind of build. <laughs> okay. Little double ant start. Don't mind if I do. Into a termite is actually super good here. Because the high health total benefits a lot from the ants here. So look him. Oh, he also has a double ant start. Um, I think with a different ant hit, we might win that. But it's probably a draw either way. I'm not sure. Let's we'll throw in an Alchemedes. I mean, I mean, there's a Gibbon here. Another Termite. There's so many bushes out here. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Thought of a joke, but I don't want to say it. Um, okay. I mean, we would have appreciated a hit. 
on the, the and there, but that's okay. We'll take another draw. Okay, so I think we start with the and level. And we probably didn't want both of those hitting the ants, did we? <laughs> That's a little awkward. Um, start with the ant level here. Uh, isn't this a question of the century here? I think we run camel. Don't get me wrong, I'm a sucker for some early scaling, but camel's just so good here. Um, camel's gonna get two hits. That's incredible. Basically a guaranteed win, except for this time. Just kidding, it is. I thought we weren't going to trade in quite as well as we did. Okay, so... We keeping... I can't keep the termite here, right? That would be ridiculous. We can get the giraffe on the camel, which is incredible. And now we are going to get the gibbon trigger this turn, so we want to make sure we're actually setting up correctly, unlike last time. Who we got here? This is some... Some favorable trading we got here. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, we're cooking. Give me some of that. Break me off a piece of that. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. But at this point, we're pretty committed to the camel play. Um, I'm not really vibing. Ooh, hold on. I take it back. We're vibing again. We got a tropical fish. Another camel is huge. Even just that plus one, plus one goes a very long way. So I'll take it. Every time I see this orangutan, I just get sad. I know, though, there's a chance for him. There's a world in which the orangutan actually works. I, just, I don't know if that's this world. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, you'd have to get so unbelievably lucky. Getting like 10 orangutans on your team. Which is tier 3, so I guess you could argue there's a slightly better chance of that. Oh, okay. I don't even know what we're rolling for at this point. We got everything. We got everything we need. See, this is where we're going to start running into some issues. We got a ginormous homie cooked up. Hold on. Eh, no, not quite. I thought there might have been a chance there for a second, but when you get that many elephant hits, that's why it's like not good to front run any any homies like this. Okay, early polar bear. <laughs> okay. I think I see where this one's going. Here we go early polar bear rhino. We don't need the other giraffe. I mean that is that not the best level up we could have gotten there? Is this gen genuinely, I think, the best we could have hoped for. So now we're getting 4-4 on a Rhino every turn. See, these these front runners just aren't doing it for us. They're getting they're giving way too much value to the front run elephant teams. But like, where else do you put them? <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, the ants gotta go probably. Like, I don't know what to put there. We got two scalers that need to be in their locations. We can try the deer, I guess. Get an extra 1-1 one, one on, our, on our rhino here. Okay, he gets two hits there. Alright, we're good now. Maybe it was the deer. Maybe the deer did it. Maybe the fact they didn't front run the elephant. I don't know. But either way, we're doing good. We're cooking. Um, do we... I think we do something a little along these lines. Because I'd like to get the flashlight from the stingray and then play the, the rhino that isn't being buffed right now. Kind of like reserve him on your team for the time being. Keep that experience point going, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, we're not we're not loading. Okay, we're up. Hmm. You'd have to imagine the tropical fish is not long for this world. And it, yeah, we're gonna be wasting one one health on our homie here, but that's totally fine. And we're good. Fantastic. 
So we do have to play the Rhino now. Otherwise the flashlight is going to go and then it's all sorts of screwed up. Um, I think we're just going to roll it here. Actually, <laughs> hold on. I've been meaning to try the Fossa for a little while now. I think this is a reasonable time to, to start that pivot. Let's go here. And I think this is a solid combo for the Fossa, is you get a Rhino up front. You're basically guaranteeing that he's going to kill whoever he attacks. And you can start, you know, dishing out some damage. And yeah, the, the camel's just going to make mincemeat of these summons. Okay, I like this. This is a solid team. I think the pivot has been executed, not flawlessly, but pretty well. And now we get some more rhinos. Do a little bit more damage here. I mean, I honestly would take a pineapple here, right? Do a little bit extra on the snipes since they're quote unquote guaranteed. And then I think the hamster makes sense with the fossa, right? So let's see. Um, we're. I mean, the fossa's not doing anything yet. Like we would, we would have one shot them anyways, but I think it's still useful. I'm still glad we have them. Have a rhino level three opportunity here. I don't like this. I mean, could just do this. Honestly, run it like that, so then we can get the Rhino some, some more scaling here. Oh, it's a lot of hamsters. Okay, I like where we're at. I think we're doing pretty solid here. Oh, and they got a lot of tier 1, so this Rhino is going to go off. <laughs> Lady Laramie, you got to pivot, brother. Sister, whichever one, whatever you are. So, I mean, I don't want to sell the giraffe, but we could side stack hamsters if we do, you know. And then, yeah, let's, we can look for some chocolate here. We're going to be gaining money as we go. Now we get four more rerolls. Ooh, another hamster. Save him for a refresh. We're not finding a whole lot of anything right now. So we're going to four squad if we do it like this, but I think I'm okay with that. Gives us more search opportunities here. Trying to find another Fossa, if anything. Fossa chocolate. Any Fossa chocolates out there? Tiger bug? Not really the play. It's like... It's basically doing what the, the Rhino is doing, right? It's like a backup if the Rhino fails, but if the Rhino fails, we're already losing. So, <laughs> I don't think we plan for that. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, the Gariel's a hard sell, but we'll keep, we'll keep him. I like the toys. Okay, we're still not getting that. Ooh, it actually paid off tremendously. Okay. Love it. We got the chocolate, the fossil level. Um, since we're running a four squad, I think we just look for more hamsters, right? We can do the cheeky refresh. There it is. And then we overwrite. Put on a camel here. Um, what else do we want? I don't know. We're really just racking up fossil triggers at this point. And I guess we go hammerhead. Get some extra gold for some more rerolls, right? <laughs> Why not? And then what do we got? Oh baby. This is exactly what I was hoping for. This is just how I pictured it in my head. You just gimp a couple of these homies. Ooh, another fossa. Alright, hold on. Let's try to get the fossa level three. I think that's going to be our plan here. If we can do that, I think we're going to be in a good spot. We do find the hamster. Perfect timing. And there it is. Okay. 
Surely we can pull this one off, right? I don't need the other hamster. We do need a camel, so we can hold on to him. We don't need a fossa. Unless you, like, side stack two level three fossas and they're all just, like, hardcore skunked. Oh, baby. <laughs> We're not quite one-shotting. It would have been very satisfying if we had a little more damage there. We would have just rolled their entire team. But maybe we can get this camel cooking. I don't know. We'll see. Get some more pizza. A little more pizza never hurt nobody. Level 3 camel. Into... Eh, yeah, okay. It's a hard sell on the hammerhead, because, like, we're basically at the end here. <laughs> okay, I see where this is going. <laughs> uh, the, the secretary bird is not going to save you this time, brother. Deedle, deedle Nick. <laughs> Clever. Alright, well, that's fantastic. This is a fun fossa combo. I was looking a little more on like how good the fossa is you gotta pair it with something like this you gotta pair it with like a rhino or something maybe there's some other combos there i'm not sure we'll look into it a little bit probably all right we're coming back here <laughs> i really enjoyed that fossa game so let's, let's see if we can pull off some more we got some gibbons cooking here i, I don't know if i love starting turn one with gibbons because they're kind of just bad right they're just worse versions of other pets but i i do i do have a sore spot sweet spot i have some sort of spot for three gibbons because <laughs> you oh this guy's got a sweet spot for some gibbons all right and she out here with four gibbons and a horse there should be a song written about that one all right see because now we get like a really strong gibbon right there's got, there's something to be said about some really powerful Gibbon here. Let's go here. I think we do combine everybody, right? And then next turn we look for another Gibbon. And we got the Yak Tropical Fish combo. If we want it. Maybe we do. We got a 6-9 Gibbon, nice. Alright. Mana did not snipe our Gibbon, that's huge. And we're good. Is that two wins in three turns? <laughs> and we get the other Gibbon? Alright, it's gotta be a Yak Angle here. I think we're just gonna roll here. I mean... <laughs> don't get me wrong, I don't think getting an Apple there would be bad. But I think we have enough... Enough hits as far as like potential level ups that it doesn't warrant running apple okay yeah, unfortunate snipe there that will get him the win livy 42 i'm upset with you all right level up Ooh, we get an early fossa what do we get here or we could run a double deer maybe a tiger bug tiger bug fossa actually is pretty good I think, in theory. Right, because you can weaken the front homies and then the, the tiger bug just nukes them. It's worth a shot, we'll put it that way. If it ends up sucking, we can pivot. Mosquito can go, speaking of sucking. Uh, what are we looking for here? Tropical fish, I suppose. Not finding any. There's one. Okay. We got some garlic for our yak. That will help out tremendously. Hmm. I'm just picturing having a rhino on this team and... <laughs> how satisfying it would be. But no rhino to be had. If we get a level up here, maybe. Hmm, nothing. Fossa. Saw that yellow camel and I thought it was another Fossa for a second. Hmm. 
we could probably warrant putting some meat bones on the <laughs> onto our tropical fish. But for now, I mean he's doing his job. Getting it done. He just has so much health from our gibbon. I think, yeah, so we can take the level because we get the hamster here. Not that we knew we were going to, but what are we really looking for in tier 6? I guess maybe hammerhead, if we're going to keep the gibbon around for a little bit. But like, do we want to do that? <laughs> do we want to keep him around? Is that in the cards? I don't know. Probably not. If we had a hammerhead, maybe. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Given can probably go... I mean, maybe tropical fish, though. Given has one more trigger left in him. Before we take him out back. Go chocolate on... Could argue either one. We go tiger bug here. A little more powerful. No hammerhead. Unfortunate. Looks like the Gibbon's fate is sealed. So here's the idea. Here's what I'm thinking. So we go... We go Fossa... Fossa Hamster. Which just nukes their front line, right? From there, we can get like a snake. We can get... Chili on our front unit, maybe? And just kind of like go off. I think that's going to be the play. I want to use up the hamster triggers here before I start pivoting. Um, not finding anything here. Okay. I think that's fine. Actually, I think we probably should have just played the hamster that turn. I don't know. Mmm, we were one attack off. That was sad. Okay, well now we can do our whole thing. So we can get rid of the Gibbon. I just wanted to keep it so we can do something like this. Get a little greedy. Because now we get rid of the Gibbon after he pays out. We can get a little extra gold. Combine them, get a little more gold. Buy, sell a Stingray. What are we on, seven wins? That's flashlight territory if you ask me. <laughs> Alright, chocolate on somebody. I don't know who yet. Uh, no, no, no. Snake? Looks like we're doing chocolate on a snake, potentially. Let's do this, though. For now. I think this is fine. I don't want to like front run the yak, right? Because that's just wasting all of his attack because they're all going to be tiny. I don't really know how I want to set up this team. Oh, the hamster gets it done. Fantastic news. Okay. Now I think we probably pivot here. I was kind of low-key hoping that we would find another stingray or like a stingray chocolate or something, but that didn't quite happen. I think we just... Uh, yeah, let's just buy it now. Okay. We're gonna front run Yak this time. Just so he gets the extra health from the flashlight. Um, it actually worked out very well for us there. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> our homie got sniped. If our tiger bug didn't get sniped there, we would have done very well. Let's go, are we going melon or are we going pineapple? He already does 10 damage, right? Like, do we need a pineapple? I don't think so. Okay, roll me, what are we looking for? I think we're gonna do something like this. I don't really care who we put in the front between the fuss and the hamster. I don't think it really makes a difference. Oh, we find another fuss, huh? That's pretty good. Into a chocolate. Okay, great. So we get a level 3. He's going to be doing mad damage. Our yak is going to be clean up and our hamster is going to hold down the fort, I suppose. <laughs> it's not looking good. <laughs> Alright, we draw. That's fine. D&D, &D, I didn't see the rest of his name. 
We go here. I think we're rolling to see if we can find a snake. Or another fossa. <laughs> Maybe. I think we just do this. Are we even keeping the hamster? Maybe. I mean, we're keeping him right, but are we even trying to level him? It's a little late. Okay, good snipes, good snipes. Our, our snipes are actually looking a little weak, to be honest. I'm a little concerned here. I need to get this level 3 snake cooking ASAP. Get the level 3 fossa. That's a start. Don't want the pizza. We gotta get the snake. That's tough. We'll give him chili. A little extra snipe-ish. Snipe adjacent. And that's what we're hoping for. <laughs> that's what we're looking at. That's the dream scenario right there. Just get everyone to one health and just nuke them all. Okay. Anything? Anything? Please? Snake me? <laughs> Somebody? There it is. We got two, actually. And a pizza. Okay, I don't know if this is actually better than the rhino. I think I would probably just rather have the rhino here, to be honest, but... You know. It really just because the snake is so... It's so inconsistent, you know? You could snipe nothing if it gets insta-sniped. Or you could like kind of goof up your snipes a little bit. I think the rhino is more, more consistent, more reliable than the snake tiger bug combo is. <laughs> but it's still pretty good. I like it. The fossa is just so strong. I like the fossa. It's a solid unit. Ooh, we got the ant. Okay, this is so on. I have a good feeling about this one. Let's be some boasty gibbons. We don't even have any gibbons on our team, but we're we're boasting. Whatever that means. And we draw. Mr. Six Foot. Wow. Wow. I feel like we're on a dating app or something. Um, Alright, we can combine the ants. It's going to make us less powerful this turn, but we're going to get more powerful later because of the other Gibbon, in theory. And we don't really care if we win here or not. That's the beauty of it. Uh, we draw. Okay. Well, we're gonna be at five hearts anyways. If we win, that's cool. If we lose or draw, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, we have the likes of a tropical fish, potentially. I mean, I'm a sucker for some, some passive scaling. You know that. <laughs> we could run a yak, too. We'd have to sell two and we'd be four squatting. I mean, it's possible. We don't sound like this. I do think it makes us stronger in the long run. Having the extra yak scaling. And I think the yak actually is stronger than the two of them combined. <laughs> Weirdly enough. Um, we draw. That That's fine. Lime zeal, GG. That was a solid round. Let's see. Another yak. I think we'll combine here. We don't need to do the double yak thing again. Okay, hold on. We're not gonna level yet. Wait, are we just going like a ginormous yak here or what? <laughs> What's going on? They want to see the yak echo, the yak encore. And we are good. Posty Gibbons. Undefeated, kind of. All right, what do we got here? I mean, we could just kind of full send the yak. Speed run getting him to 50 attack. Hmm. All right, we're, we're probably not keeping the sea urchin here. I was hoping we'd find a second one and we could guarantee a level up, but that's not happening. Oh, you done goofed up now, big time, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that out of here. Another yak. Because really, having the level 3 versus level 2, assuming you put garlic on your yak, which, like, if you're a sane person, you did, 
All it's doing is giving you more attack. You're still only losing one health. That's a pretty pretty solid strat here. Uh, this is oh that's unfortunate. I think we're gonna lose it because of that. Oh, we're not actually. Okay, good. They got a really fortunate snipe onto our bus. I mean... But my problem with Orangutan... We're gonna try him out. But my problem with Orangutan is just gonna keep buffing this 1-1. One, one, you know? Like, I get... I, I feel like he should be back to his old ways. Like, put him back on tier 4, give him extra health scaling, because it just takes too long now. Sure, you get him a little bit earlier, but what's the... What's that doing for you, you know what I'm saying? Alright, he's getting a lot of triggers. Fortunately, we have a ginormous yak. But I'm telling you, yaks are too good. We do find a level up opportunity here. I think we kind of double stack some orangutans. They'll buff each other, I think, um, this turn, but then, I mean, in theory, oh, we get the level 3 yak. In theory, um, they're, they're gonna eventually help out our yak a little bit, I think. Dude, this camel is going insane. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. Oh, man. Alright, give me a couple levels. Let's see what we get here. We actually can do this. The walrus angle is there. I don't think I want to run it yet. Because we... Like, our main source of damage here is the yak, right? And we can get this high attack snake homie. With the orangutans. Oh, it's not even buffing the. Oh my lord. Dude, I'm telling you, these orangutans are not it. Not in the slightest. I don't like them at all. Okay, so. I mean, <laughs> you don't really want to get rid of the camel when you're in a health scaling team, but. I feel like we kind of have to a little bit. Do we ever just get rid of the level 1 orangutan? Is that an option? Like, I don't think we actually need the level 1 homie here. Yeah, I think we, we just combine here. The other issue I have with the orangutan, <laughs> add it to the laundry list, is uh, you can't pivot your team. Because it targets specifically the lowest health pet. So as soon as you pivot, it's not scaling anyone else except for the one that you just pivoted into. Which is kind of a bummer. Also, double snipe onto our snake is similarly bummerly. Oh. <laughs> Weak squad, I like that name. Finally get the level on the camel. Eh, let's see. Go here. I mean, are we full sending the orangutan? <laughs> or do we just put it on the snake? I don't know. <laughs> like, look how bad this is. We have a 4610. If we just kept the tropical fish, I think he'd be better off at this rate. Ah, yes. The bus's favorite food. Slugs. I mean, we'll try it, I guess. I'm not a fan, though. I want that to be very clear. I'm not a fan. At one point, maybe we'll try, like, an orangutan into, like, a mushroomed, uh, whatever he's called, the peanut guy. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe we'll just try that out at some point and see if it's any good. Get a lot of snakes here, that's nice. Uh, maybe we consider swapping the order a little bit, and then we can start running the likes of a mushroom on our deer. 
Mm, this is looking a little, <laughs> a little not good. Uh, all right, we're down to two. I'm not too worried right now. I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna get a huge health buff on our yak here, which believe me, he needs it. We're gonna get our snake level three next turn. And then we're getting how much? We're getting nine health. We're at a 50-22. That's somewhat underwhelming. We get a fantastic snipe though. That's gonna help us a lot. I'm not sure if we needed it. Because we also have the camel, which is a hard summon counter. But we'll take it. We'll take the early snake snipe. Not interested. At this point, I think we're just going for the deer level up. Call it a day. Gonna have to be the way we do it. Mm-mm-mm-mm. That's tough. Okay. It's Walenda. Um, here we could do the mushroom thing if we want to commit to that. mushroom on the deer. Put the lime in the coconut. I don't really know what we're doing at this point. Hey, what are we even looking for? I don't know. You can't... It's tough. Let's just, let's just play it out. See how this goes. Maybe we instead try to front run the, the yak. But I do like the health we get from the camel onto our yak. Okay, he killed his own bear? Question mark? Did I see that correctly? His hedgehog killed his own bear? Alright, whatever. Um, so we can throw melon and try to full send the yak up front, maybe? Try to get an extra... Extra hit in there that garlic wouldn't otherwise get. Alright, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Of course that's how that works, why wouldn't it? I'm being a dumb dumb. Ignore me. Done at the yak. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Please snipe him. Please. Alright, we draw. We did not deserve the, the draw, but we got it. Okay. But now the yak is gonna actually start taking damage. That's a little unfortunate. Dude, I'm an idiot. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Let's front run the yak. He's very susceptible to snipes now, so we need to make sure he gets a hit off. And I think we're just kind of running the camel back there. And three damage. Which now, okay, hold on. Now he is getting buffed, whereas he wouldn't have gotten that orangutan hit. You know? So there's that. He wouldn't have otherwise gotten the extra help. I don't think it mattered, but hey. Dude. With that atrocious melon play, we did not deserve to win that one. But the snakes are pretty solid. This was the first attempt at a some sort of snake build, and I don't know. Seemed pretty good.